<laughs> oh, what's up guys? How's it going? Mark Free with 408. Beauty day, beauty day. It's uh, Thursday in my world, but uh, I'm ready for the weekend, that's for sure. So, anyways, haven't got the quad out in a while, so we're gonna get her out today. Spin a few laps, do some goon riding. Look at this old thing. Just a beast. That has some memories on that. Lots of goon riding. A lot. Many millions of people have seen it for sure. So she's doing some high idle right now. She's a diesel. We turn that down. Easy girl. She'll probably stall out now. <laughs> Anyways, let's head down the track. Go for a rip. <laughs> Look at this old thing. Hey, eh? Look at the dust on it. Hasn't been moved in a minute or four. Anyways, we got those fresh graphics on Dallas's bike. We're gonna do some ripping. Maybe I'll try some goon riding. I haven't goon riding in a while. So we changed up these jumps a little. They had super steep landings on. Line, yeah, I can't even talk. They were super steep takeoff and landings. They're basically super cross jumps, but we just mellowed them out a little. The older we get, you know, you gotta, you gotta mellow things out, so. Ty changed him up and then he ended up overshooting the one and he broke two bones in his hand and uh, a couple of cracked ribs, I believe. So, no video though. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to rip around today. See how long it takes me to lap Dallas on the quad. I think my record on the bike is eight minutes around the whole track. It took me eight minutes to lap him, so I'm going to try and beat him with the quad today. I haven't rode the quad since the last time I rode the quad, but... Oh, probably should have wore white gear today because it's very hot, but I like this gear. It's good. I feel like I'm in Vice City. All right, let's roll. So strong. Oh, like dump truck. So strong. I haven't goon ridden in so long. I didn't even know how to. A protector <laughs> somehow ripped off there and went through my sprocket. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's just rubber, but like, what are the odds? Can we yank that out? Oh, we're gonna yank it out, but I'm like, like, why, is, why isn't it moving? Why'd I stall? I thought it's just because you're a rookie. Because <laughs> I'm awesome. <laughs> yeah. Same thing. Same, 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 but different. I don't even know, like, do you have any pliers down here? Ooh. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Jeez, that thing got right bunged up in there. Uh, oh, you know what? I got my uh, my uh, utility knife thing. Oh, you got your paramedic kit down here? Well, you're not bleeding. So it's useless. You want me to cut myself? <laughs> you want me to cut you? I'll cut you. So I got my thing. Uh, could we, do you need a screwdriver? Maybe take the thing right off? I cut you so bad. I wish I never cut you so bad. I don't know. Give me something. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> all right. We got the, the old Swiss Army, that helped. We just rolled it back and forth. So this is the, uh, the chain guard on top of the swing arm. Just basically guards it from, you know, wearing out your swing arm. But yeah, as you can see, it went straight through the sprocket. When these things were obviously brand new, they also had one in here, but it was advised you take them out right away because apparently that's what happened, they fell out as well. So. And then got this little chunk here still in. Out on the tooth somehow maybe it's wrapped around oh there it is boom we're, hey, back. we're back in business see you later we are the video
Pretty sure that's what we call a vulnerable position. I'll find you. <laughs> And we stalled. <laughs> Got too old for the smack. <laughs> Pelvic thrust again, warm up. me like one of your French girls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough practice for today. Let's. Uh, I'm all warmed up now. Let's do some motors. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that one. Nice. Good ride. I tried to hit you, but close. Can't close. Out of the way. I was scared. <laughs> I was scared. See this? This look like my scared face. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm scared of. Nope. Hurricane Marco and Laura. Mm. What a duo, eh? <laughs> Once in a lifetime, me and Laura. Hey. <laughs> All right, let's motor. Peace. Whew. All right, I know I don't have a GoPro on, but we just did our first moto. I haven't really, you know, gone fast on a quad in a while. I did a few months ago there, but me and Dallas, every time he comes out, we try to have a little race on the dirt bikes to see how long it takes me to lap them. What was the last <laughs> time? Like nine? 9.30. 9.30. On the bikes. On the bikes. And with the quad, obviously I'm a lot faster than the quad. I used to race them, but uh, I was 740 that time. <laughs> but it's crazy, like, 
my like if that thing had another 100 or 200 cc like compared to the dirt bike when i'm going up some of the straightaways i'm like half three quarter that thing it's everything plus some like my hand is just pushed and it's like you always forget how much heavier and how much bigger and well even the tires right you're like floating like these things dig in those things just kind of float so sorry for dusting you off the start that's okay i'll start to think like can we do a start hurt. a couple of the rocks hurt hey <laughs> you gotta find out somehow i used to come up the track covered in blood so well, yeah. when you got you know just, when you don't pull the whole shot you got 20 quads ahead of you i just get concussions and sprained wrists <laughs> yeah dude you, sh you should have seen my helmet i'd come off the race sometimes the visor would be broken there'd be stone chips everywhere like my bumper even i would just rocker guard the bumper every other race because it was all stone chips so anyways i can have some water and then we'll yeah do some moto and get, get, get some uh, get some video of some jumps she ran well. She's a little lighter now without that chain guard either. That thing looks way, looks way better with the stickers on it now. Oh yeah, she's absolutely beautiful today. Nice and hot, hot and humid. She's getting better. For first, uh, for just getting a bike this year. We got those uh, bars tilted back too, so that should improve the handling a little there. They came stock pretty far forward and it was like a freaking bullhorn. Huh, I'm glad this track finally looks good. I know a lot of you guys remember the last few years when I was on the road all the time and not many people rode here, so it was tough to take care of it. Plus, they didn't really have the equipment, but we finally got a bush hog, rototiller. We got Ty helping out with the grooming. We got Dallas with the freaking weed eater and it finally looks good. It's funny though, like I cut this uh, what, two weeks ago for the track party and it's still pretty low, but then you look over there that cut at the exact same time and it's probably knee high. It's all how the water flows down the hill and down to the river, so. Saturated is the word. Moistly, as Trudeau would say, so. Gonna rip a few more on this and then uh, wrap her up and get out of here for the weekend, even though it's Thursday. I want you. Keep swinging some laps. <laughs> Up that lap time. Okay. Get out of here. <laughs> it's funny how much less dusty dirt bikes are. When we started for the race, I came up the rear and completely made them disappear. Magic trick. What are your guys' takes on Fords? I love them. I've always had a Ford. My uncle worked at the factory, so that's why, uh, that's why I always had them because I'd get a discount, right? But. Now I'm just kind of stuck on them. Plus they have a big gas tank. That's what I like. I mean, I do like the other trucks too. They're all pretty nice, except Dodge. I'm just kidding. They're all good. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I just like the Fords. And the big gas tank is nice because you like, I only fill up every thousand kilometers compared to some people that have to fill up every you know, five to seven hundred. I'm gonna stick with my Ford. Plus, they got a hybrid coming out. Would you judge me if I got a hybrid F-150? Answer in the comments.
and the thunder rolls and the thunder ro uh, there's that truck coming yep can you hear it there's a truck coming it's not <laughs> <laughs> oh anyways it's good to be back on the quad good to whip some motos um yeah obviously i'm not doing every any everything because you know i don't really ride this much but next time when i get the bike out when i get some fresh tires i'm gonna hit these jumps now that they're good to go there is a severe thunderstorm warning we just turned around all of a sudden she's a little dark out there so we're gonna wrap her up we're gonna get everything packed up those graphics look good is that who we you know to call bad boys what you gonna do <laughs> what you gonna do when they call for you okay thank you guys for watching hope you enjoy the content hope you enjoyed the quad i know i don't ride as much as i used to but I'm trying to bring it out more and more thank you dallas as always thank you don't do anything we wouldn't do. Call 911 if you need them. And uh, watch out for uh, those hurricanes, especially Marco and Laura. <laughs> See you guys later.